Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, speaking to Lucy and Kunal about the story, the life of AJ Pickery in theaters October 7th. Thank you both for your time. Thank Yay. you so much. Kunal, it's very interesting because, you know, your character is doing a lot of soul searching, self reflection in this film. And we've been doing a lot of soul searching and self reflection during the pandemic because we've had a lot of time to. So I feel like the movie instantly becomes more relatable to a lot of people. I'm curious if you thought about that at all. Um, I'm not sure I thought about it uh, in terms of the pandemic, but I did definitely think about what this movie represents, which yeah. is second chances, uh, yeah. that, that there is life after loss, that there is beauty in darkness, and that everyone at some point in their life can go through these storms and still come out on the other side like a flower, you know, so these things are the things that I thought about. So probably exactly on the same themes that you're talking about. Absolutely. Lucy, adaptations always interest me. So I'm curious what your mindset specifically is, knowing it was a popular book, like as a storyteller actor, like what are some things early on that you're thinking about knowing that this was, you have kind of source material to play with? I know it's like a lot of the bigger projects in my life have come from books. Pretty Little Liars was book, was a book. Uh, the Hating Game was a book. This was a book. The movie I'm working on now is a book. And like, there is that pressure of wanting to capture why it was successful, but I, I try not to, to to really do that to myself. I try to just look at it as like, wow, I have so much more information. Like I, cause it's all there. So, um, I mean, I think that with this one in particular, because we're covering so much ground, it takes place over so many years. Yeah, It was, I mean, Gabrielle who wrote the book also wrote the screenplay and she just captured it beautifully. Like there wasn't a moment where I was like, oh, I wish we, of course, I wish we had more time to play and create more, but um, it, it, I feel like we captured the bullet points of the book really nicely. Yeah. Um, but for me, it's always exciting because I'm like, oh my God, I can read the script and there's a book where I can gather more info. This is great. Yeah. So you, yeah, you, you understand why I asked that question because you yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's kind of all everyone's doing these days anyway. It's like everything's based off the book. There's so much stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Kunal, I, I find it interesting because one thing that came to mind when I'm watching the film is there's so many elements at play. And then you mentioned a little bit of it. Lucy did. Which one stood out the most to you? Was it the slice of life? Was it the adversity the characters are going through? Was it the slice of life? Like anything specifically stood out for you when you were like reading the script for this? You know, I think there was there's a real purity to this script. And I think that without it being saccharine or too sweet, I think that there's that the the innocence and the purity of a child's heart can absolutely melt even, you know, the toughest of of hearts, really. Yeah. When you have something that is pure and innocent and sweet and longing, that it can really melt even the 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 stoniest of hearts. And that that that's a theme that I really love from the book. Oh, absolutely. In theaters, October 7th. Lucy Kunal, thank you so much for your time. It was so great chatting with you. Thanks. Oh, thank man. you. Thank you so great much. Day. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.